to worry about a damn thing. If I was you and I could partner up, shit, you, uh, I better pound. You want to cook crystal meth? Because we get the shoes out, well. And I hate talking about my stupid thing. But girl, I'm giving you the whole thing. I can put like 25 on your finger, 5 for your shade. So you can see these other niggas, they won't call you again. Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to react to Breaking Bad Season 5 Episode 4. Now guys, in the last... Listen, before we start, a little disclaimer. I have to confess something. I just finished brutally murdering five mosquitoes. And uh, somehow there were seven in total in my room. And I can't seem to locate the last two. So if... Uh, during the reaction they keep attacking me or start attacking me again I might force you to become witnesses to <laughs> some of the most brutal murders of mosquitoes out there Cause these guys are pissing me off bruh So much blood went into them bruh They, 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 mm. I'ma get them I'ma get them So, that was a little disclaimer So if I just start doing this during, like, like right during the reaction Just know what's happening, right? <laughs> and it's gonna be random because you just hear Right, so I'm gonna have to, you know, you know, it might not happen, uh, but hey, hey, we'll see, we'll see. They keep attacking me, and I, I haven't killed all of them, so yeah. That being said, in the last episode, uh, I'm gonna join Walt on a murder spree, only I'm gonna kill mosquitoes. <laughs> but um, in the last episode, we started cooking again. I don't see Mike and Walt working together like this. Right for long because Mike, you gotta ignore, you gotta respect the, the the badassery that Mike displays each episode because he doesn't like Walt, right? And he's that old school type of guy who does like doesn't take any shit. But we know Walt's ego is fragile, so I don't know he, how much he's gonna like. He's not gonna keep this up for long, so they're definitely gonna get into another fight. And Jesse's pure right now. He's like, take my money, just don't fight, please. <laughs> Wholesome. That being said, I ain't gonna blow on this that much. If you enjoy my reactions, you know what to do. Let's go, baby. I gotta say, when you first brought her in, I have no doubt. But your little darling's got nine lives. Okay. He needs to buy a new car. This car has gone. He made this car murder a lot of people. <laughs> he ran over those two guys. Oh my god, the hat. This hat is his alter ego. <laughs> you give me 50 bucks, and she's all yours. Yo, what you is going sure on? This? Sure as you. Check the register. Dad? Why? 50 bucks? Are you crazy? Yeah. <laughs> you mean... Today? I mean 30 seconds. Oh, police? Come in. Navy pants, powder blue shirt. The look he just gave me was the very antithesis of okay. Okay? Breathe, Lydia. No one's talking to the police. I just had like 14 DEA agents barge into my office, screaming and yelling at me, and they were swarming all over the warehouse. We'll call a birthday present to myself. And Junior, people will just chalk that up as me being a softie. Yeah, I mean, you do have the car wash now, and the business and is the booming. A new environment might be good for them. Yeah. What does that mean? It means away from you, you psycho! What's wrong with their environment? Yo, this is so... Life is good, Skyler. Life is good? Really? You're not in the bed with a psychopath. I mean, technically you are, but it's you. <laughs> no, Walt is... Walt... Walt is tripping, bro. My man... And you got... Burgermeister Meisterburger over here in Germany, 5,000 miles away. You got, you got this guy. It's got to be someone in the, in the middle. You know, some, some of them we're missing. Yep. Here you go, man. Could you give us a moment? Yo, Hank's instincts are crazy. My man, really on to them. Hank, I 
got to say, your work here has been stellar, really first rate. What do you say, Hank? You want it? Come on, man. You Well, considering my wife would murder me if I said no. <laughs> yeah, you already turned down El Paso, so... Yeah. I want it. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, uh, happy birthday. Nice. Yeah, which is ironic because Jesse has nobody to go home to because this prick, Walter, manipulated him into breaking up with that fine woman and, and her child, right? Simply to make sure that Jesse doesn't talk about his work here and she doesn't find out about Walter. And he did it so indirectly, right? He just... Mm, it's crazy. And now he's going back to his family like, oh, it's okay for him to have a family, but not Jesse. Insane. Baby, I'm so proud of you. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You, you're you're already a woman, so you, your driving skills are already on edge. Just keep keep looking at the world. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> My man was yo. Did you see his little jump? Like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely, she's uh, scared to face Kyler because Walt ordered to not talk to Hank about her. Right, uh, going out of the marriage and sleeping with Ted. Yo, Walt was such a prick about that, blaming everything on Skyler again and making sure he gets the halo of an angel again. And this is all on him, but he keeps putting it all on Skyler and Skyler can't tell anybody anything. And now Marie can't tell Hank and they're going together to, right? So that's why Marie's, cause she's a, uh, right, chatty Kathy, she wants to tell him. I believe you just don't kill us, Skyler? Right? <laughs> Skyler? Yeah, and, and this, uh, guys, if you have a friend that's in a relationship and you share a certain thing, a, cer a certain secret about yourself to that friend, know for a fact, be sure that the guy or girl he or she is with, they know too, bro. There are no secrets in a relationship, in a marriage, bro. They can pretend they didn't tell their spouse or, or right husband, but they did. They did. They all know. <laughs> no way. So be prepared. Take a page here from Walton by myself a jet plane. Uh, <laughs> maybe I overdid it a little. But with these new lease rates, I mean, they're mighty attractive. Well, uh, well it is. It has been quite a year, huh? <laughs> Do you know that uh, almost exactly a year ago that I got my diagnosis? Jesus. Yeah, right? Yeah. It seems like longer. Yeah, it does seem like longer. My man managed to do all this in one year, bro. My man, yo, my man made millions. My man took down the kingpin of, of meth in this country, the U.S., bro, on their side of the border. And Gus managed to take out the cartel that was in direct connection with him in that same year. So much that they killed Gail. He had countless fights with Jesse. He had countless run-ins with life and death. He had countless fights with his wife. His wife cheated on him. They reconciled somehow. And right, bro, Hank got shot. He recovered. Like, so much happened in one year. My man became a millionaire in one year. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh... Crazy. Putting wet washcloths on my forehead and she's singing to me. And this would go on and on, day after day. I remember I was lying on the... Yo, my man contemplating life right now, right? She's like, what would have... How would my life be right now if he actually died of that cancer? If he actually listened to himself and didn't undergo that right procedure and chemo or none of that? If he just gave up? How different would this all be, right? Is it worth it? Like, yeah, we would be in huge debt and all that, but it would be better than now, right? She's just contemplating life, looking at the water, thinking, yo, maybe I should drown myself in front of all these people, traumatize my kids even more. <laughs> She's looking for a way out. I, I can't even blame her. I'm cracking jokes, but it's horrible. Or the bathroom, because the, the time. She's like a prisoner. So nice and cool, you know. Bro, Skyler, what the? Hank asked you a question. You need to get out. Skyler. Hey, yo! She gonna... She's gonna come up, right? What's his last name? Lady, I just got off a plane from uh, New Mexico, and I got a 900-mile drive back. That's 14 hours if I if I don't stop. So the sooner we do this, the sooner it's done. Yeah, she's so tight, bro. <laughs>
Uh, Armin Trout. Please tell me that's not what I think it is. What? It's contaminated? What? She's gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. What was that? I don't know. A cry for help! I mean, was she trying... Oh, and then swimming pool and... So she's trying to get the kids away. <laughs> and what better place? I gave Marie bottles. They'll stop and pick up diapers along the way. I spoke with Junior on the phone. Is that what your pool stunt was about? Trying to protect my children from me? Not just you. There's blood on my hands, too. What blood? True. Panicky? I will not have my children living in a house where dealing drugs and hurting people and killing people is shrugged off as shit happens. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of insane. Fine, but the kids stay away. I could send Junior away to school. Oh, well, here's the conversation. So, honey, I know you've only got one year left in high school, but I would love it so much if you would drop everything, leave all your friends behind, and go to boarding school in Arizona. Do you have any other ideas? Because Damn. I'm not hearing a solution to your problem. Hold on. Bide my time. And wait. For what? Wait for what? What are you waiting for? Somebody to kill him? For the cancer to come back. Hey, yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> right, that doesn't tell you wife doesn't love you. I don't know what will, bro. At this point, you should just move out. The hell are you doing here, bro? She just literally told you she doesn't even want you in her bed. You're practically forcing yourself on your wife, ex-wife at this point, because she doesn't have, she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to have nothing to do with him. I made these things to put under cars. It can get wet. Yeah. <laughs> Even by cop standards, this is sloppy. True. The other barrels, they have trackers on the outside too? Don't know this woman like I do. I had a chance to deal with this before and I gave her a pass. It's what I get for being sexist. Now, if you excuse me. I, you can't. It beats working with a lunatic who's gonna get us arrested or killed. She, she didn't seem crazy to me, you know? She just seemed like uptight. <laughs> uptight. Now you're being sexist. The methylamine keeps flowing no matter what. We are not ramping down. We're just getting started. Also, didn't uh, Hank say that they're gonna start literally spying on, on Hank and following him? So is it is it smart for him to keep meeting with Walt and Jesse like this? This is not a good idea. Bro, she's smoking. She's not even hiding it anymore. My girl just going through it. I uh, stopped by Hank and Marie's. The person who gave me this present wanted me dead, too. Not that long ago, he pointed a gun right between my eyes right here. And he should have shot you. He threatened to kill me. Bro, I thought that was gonna be a bomb. <laughs> I was like, hey, yo, did Jesse just kill him? <laughs> yo, I honestly, for a second there, I thought that was, gonna, that was gonna explode. Anyway, the mosquitoes bit me 20 more times during this reaction. Uh, I didn't feel like slapping myself uh, to try to kill them because I couldn't see them, so I just felt the bites. It's crazy. They're just stealth mode, right? I'm gonna kill him later, don't you worry, don't you? I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get As soon as I turn this camera off, they're dead. But that being said, yeah, Walt is really a psycho. I'm sorry, my man does not care. He's acting like he, they didn't have the conversation. Like Skylar didn't just tell him, yo, you are uh, like just, I don't want to even see you. Like, come on, anybody with common sense would not even want to be there if he didn't feel like he's wanted, right? And I mean, I guess they have kids. He wants to be around his kids, but he can visit. I mean, just move out, bro. Like, why are you forcing yourself on this poor woman who is obviously, like, just, she's desperate. 
And desperate people do desperate things. She might actually go to the cops. And if I was her, I would definitely do that. I'm sorry. With this protection and all that. Because, yeah, sure, Walt, yeah, he's sneaky with it. He can poison you and all that. But, bro, he doesn't have his people, right, to, to, right? He's not that level of, of kingpin. So, if she went to the cops, there's not much he could do about it. They would get him. They would definitely get him, right? But that being said, I, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to what's going to happen next. Mike is off to kill this woman, but apparently... Walt and Jesse stopped him, and why would she lie, right, to get us off, like, okay, I understand she doesn't want us to work, but, but that guy's gonna snitch on her, I don't know, man, I don't know, apparently this uptight woman doesn't want to work with us, she's too afraid of the DEA, and I can't really blame her, so... I guess we'll find out in the next episode. But that being said, I ain't gonna plan this that much. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Love you. Enjoy. And bye.